reality experiences for, um, for everyone. So basically it works by understanding the world so it understands that surface. And now I can place a cup on the surface. And you can see it's accurate to scale. So as I get closer, it gets larger. As I come farther away, it gets smaller, just like it would in the real world. I can place other objects, like a lamp. And the lamp will let you see the accurate tracking. I can turn it on with the shadows. So it's really cool the way that the shadows move as you move around the lamp. Again, accurate to scale. You get right in there. See it in detail. Let me put a light in there too. And I can add a vase, which is also very cool. And you can see it just exists in the world as, you know, just standing right there. It looks like they'll reach out and touch the vase. And then I can show you another game. So this is a chess game. So again, I'm just going to track, find a surface to land my game on. So it's tracking the world, understanding the world. There we go. I put it pretty close up. So we can move around it. You can see all the characters' faces. Again, it looks like it's right there on the table. The detail of the rendering is amazing on this new display. Sure, as best I can. Okay, and then I can play the game. Now it's my opponent's turn. There we go. And eventually they'll get up next to each other and fight. There you go. Kicking him out of the game. It's a really incredible detail. You see, it just exists right here in our world.